I love it here. It's good. It's good for my experience to get to learn the trade. So I'm very happy. I had a long career. So I played on until I was, yeah, 38. So that was long enough. But the second best is to be a manager. You're still involved in football. You're still involved in day-to-day uh, -day on a daily basis. It's a tough adjustment, of course. I mean, you have a standard set in your head, what you're used to, what you're expected uh, or expecting your players being able to do. But when you're at this level, you have to bring down those expectations because it wouldn't be fair for me to have the expectation on the players here as I had uh, on my fellow teammates when I played in the big clubs. So you have to adjust that a little bit, but still strive to that. Because if you don't do that, you will never have a chance to reach that. It's so much I learned, I think. Uh, as a player, you come to a set table and uh, you don't have to plan anything. You don't have to have a thought, really. You just have to go out there and perform. As a coach, you have to... Um, the training has to look like a game situation, because the more you train in that, uh, the better the team has to, uh, the chance to play. So I learned a lot, and also the man-to-man -man handling the, the players, economics, things like that. So I learned quite a bit. I want the best players as any other manager. You want the best players to play. If you're 15 or you're 45, if you're good enough to play for me, you will play. Simple as that. We have a game tomorrow. I'm going to start with a 15-year-old, and uh, that's going to be interesting to see how he handles that. most pleasure is when, when you've been practicing on something and you, you see it works uh, in the game. When you outmaneuver another manager the way they play, I think that's the, the best when you get the, get the most satisfaction. I think the, the years I had in Scotland and with Celtic in the, in the domestic league and also in the European Cups is where I made my name. That's where I became the player that, uh, that I was. But I had some spells in, in Feyenoord where, where I played on a, on a decent level. Uh, but yeah, I mean, Celtic was the, was the time that uh, people got to know me a little bit more, a little bit better, and also played the European Cups, and I played the European Championships and the World Cups. And uh, yeah, I think that I was well known at the time, yeah. The best moment, the best peer was under Martin O'Neill. It was fantastic. I mean, the way he motivated us players uh, before big games was just fantastic to 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 listen and that's something i tried to bring into to my uh, role now as, as a manager as well people don't realize how passionate he is about the game uh, the way he works and everything is is just exceptional it's fantastic i think i picked up uh, something from everybody and i had some other managers that were not so good uh, and I think I learned something from them as well. Uh, how to be and what not to do and things like that. So I think you can, if you're open-minded, you can learn. You might not realize that you learn something when you're there, but when you're further on in your career, you realize, well, some things that they said, they were correct. So I tried, I tried to, to pick a little bit from, from everybody, really, and try to make it into something that fits my personality, because it would be strange if I'd done something out of character, really. I've been here three years now, and I think this is most probably going to be my last season. I have two more games left here, and then I see what's going to happen. I mean, I want to become as good as possible, and I don't know how good that's going to be. The Premier League is there, La Liga, uh, Germany. I mean, I want to try uh, my knowledge in, in a big stage as, as possible, and I don't know what that's, that's going to be. I mean, I sit and see if somebody's interested in my services. You can't have it all, and I'm, if I'm looking back at my career, I'm, I'm uh, fairly pleased, to be honest with you.